Day 6. Salvage ship the wretched flight engineer Philip Sacramento reporting. I'm... confused. I, um... I needed to get more ammunition for my weapon. I decided it would be a good idea to stock up in case the creeper got inside. I made my way over to the security office, borrowing Mason's security ID. I figured he didn't need it anymore, so... Anyway, I went to the security lockers to try and find anything I could use as a weapon or ammunition for his uh, combat rifle. What I find, though, was, um, unsettling. Anyway, I, I got into the office and I started rummaging around. I, I didn't have much luck, I find, maybe a handful of rounds, but that's about it, nothing major. But I started looking through his office and I noticed that he had a series of files that he'd been looking through. Now, this isn't out of the ordinary. He was working on ship security, so you would expect this to be here, but all of his files were centered around Carter. It was like surveillance, keeping tabs on what they were doing every time they logged into the system or what their search terms were. And... At first, I, I thought this was some kind of weird, paranoid stalking shit, you know? And then I started looking through the records, and... So... Okay, so what confuses me about it is... Prior to signing onto the ship, all of us in the crew were given a full, like, uh, physiological and psychological work done, right? Makes sense. If you're going to be away for long periods of time in a... In a, in a in a ship, then you need to make sure that everyone is psychologically and you know, physically sound. But, um, it turns out that Carter had been keeping track specifically on, uh, our blood work. In particular, our blood work as it relates to allergens. Um, now, this would have been done in a standard blood work, I would have presumed. Why would you be wanting to keep regular tabs on this? So I looked into it a little further. Specifically, they wanted to keep track of our immune response and our physiological response to pollen. Why would they be interested in how we respond to pollen on the ship? And... Then I started thinking about the lichen that I find in the corridor with the rib cage jutting out of it. The creeper's residue. I'm starting to wonder, did Carter know about this? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm just going nuts right here. Maybe the paranoia is starting to get to me. Anyway. I got some ammo, so that's something for now. But I feel like I'm going to have to step up my preparedness if, uh, if the unthinkable happens and the creeper gets through. I'll be in touch.